Okay everyone, so in this video we're gonna fix 42 MHz per second with ETash using MV Miner and your RTX 3060 Ti LHR. Let's do this. Okay everyone, so the graphic card I'm using in this video is this one. And this one is Gigabyte GeForce RTX 3060 Ti Eagle OC8G. Alright, we can also see that this one is an LHR, so light hash rate. And we can also see right here, so the model name is GeForce RTX 3060 Ti Eagle OC8G. All right. Okay, so the NVIDIA driver I'm using is uh, 472.12. So I'm just using the latest uh, driver and it works fine, all right? But uh, just in case you wonder, I'm using 472.12 as my NVIDIA driver, all right? Okay, everyone, so the first thing we need to do is just to get NB Miner. If you are a member in our Discord server, Andreas Crypto Mining, you can just go to uh, overclocking LHR cards and click on 3060 Ti LHR. And here we can see uh, the overclocking settings for Windows 10. We have the link to NB Miner. If you want to join this group, you can just go to the description below and you find a link. So this group is for crypto miners where you can get help but also help others with similar problems. You can also add your own overclocking settings right here so other people can read about it. We are growing each day, so we'd love to have you on board. Yes, go to the description below, click on the link and join. So I'm just gonna go and click on this NB Miner link. If you're not a member, you can just go and open up uh, Google. And search for GitHub n b minor and click on this one releases and this will take you to the same page all right after that just choose the one that you need i'm using windows so i'm gonna click on this one win.zip all right i'm gonna go to downloads and i'm gonna right click i'm gonna unpack this uh, zip file i'm using 7zip if you don't have it just google it and install it after that, just go down and click on this one. Extract to NB Miner. Like so. So now we have it right here. We can just drag it to our desktop. We can open it up, click on this folder. Now we can see that we have this start files. We're gonna go down to uh, this one, start dash eat. We're gonna right click, click on edit. Okay, so now we're gonna edit this uh, file. We're gonna add a rig name. So right after the dot, just name it to whatever you like. I'm gonna name it to Mars. And after that, we have your wallet address. So your Ethereum wallet address. We're gonna delete this one. I'm just gonna open up my own wallet address. If you don't have one, I will leave a link in the description for Binance. Uh, using this link, you will get a 5% kickback commission. And also disclaimer, I am affiliated with Binance. That means I will get a small commission if you sign up through my link. Okay, so we have uh, Ethereum wallet address in place. We have the rig name in place. Now we need to change uh, these values. So I'm gonna use uh, Ethermine uh, pool, but you can use whatever you like. But if you want to use Ethermine, just search for Ethermine and go to this one, ethermine.org. Click on start mining and here we can see uh, our uh, server. We have Asia, Europe, US East, US West. You're going to choose the one that are the closest to you. In my case, it's Europe. I'm going to copy this. I'm going to remember uh, the Stratum port. It's 4444. I'm gonna go back to the file and we're gonna delete this and paste the server right there. 
we're gonna delete this number and add 4444 that's it we're gonna hit X to save this like that okay so the file is uh, done so we're gonna use uh, MSI afterburner if you don't have that you find the link right here under 3060 Ti LHR and we see the link right here click on that or just Google MSI afterburner and after that just download afterburner install it and after that you will see this uh, icon open it up and now you have MSI afterburner on your uh, computer if you want to have the same layout as me just click on settings go to user interface go to uh, user interface skinning properties and click on the drop down menu and go to uh, mystic of the burner skin by drerex design you can change the size like this and click on apply and click on ok all right now you're just gonna go and locate your uh, 3060 ti you can just uh, click on this arrow and choose the ones from the menu and when you have the right one you will see it right here so 3060 ti so now we can just go and change the power limit to 60 and go and hit this check mark like that now we're gonna start the miner we're just gonna click on this one start dash eat and this will start up the nb miner okay so with no overclocking settings except the power limit we get 35.50 megahertz per second all right and we got the power consumption at 122 uh, c temp 54 and we got 293 uh, performance efficiency so let's go and add the overclocking settings okay so in uh, our discord server we see the up-to-date uh, overclocking settings right here under overclocking windows 10 at uh, overclocking lhr cards 3060 ti lhr all right so first we have core clock we're gonna have minus 500 i'm just gonna click right here and add minus 500 hit enter and after that we have memory clock 1250 i'm just gonna click uh, on memory clock add 1250 hit enter like so we have fan speed uh, zero for auto or add fixed amount depending on your card temp we want to have below 65 celsius so we can just uncheck this one to add a fixed fan speed or have auto to let the gpu uh, decide the fan speed i'm gonna uncheck this one i'm just gonna add 80 percent like so okay so we have power limit 60 percent so we have everything just click on this uh, check mark to apply and let's start the miner and see the results okay so this is the final result we have 42.04 megahertz per second we have 120 as a power consumption c temp 53 and we have a performance uh, efficiency of 350 all right okay so that's it for this video uh, comment below your own results also, if you'd like uh, to learn more about mining and help others and also get help with your problems, uh, I recommend you to uh, join our uh, Discord server. You find the link in the description. I started this channel like a week ago and we already have like over 120 uh, members. We are growing each day and we're gonna grow this channel big. So each day we grow uh, with uh, people that uh, need help but also can help you with a similar problem that they already solved. All right. So join it. Link in the description and I see you here in the Discord server. Have an awesome day. Take care and bye.